What's up everybody, Serial Entrepreneur here for another episode of the Digital Marketing School. Um, and then this episode, we're going to talk about using Vendasta uh, to help, or I guess basically as a third party service that you're going to be able to integrate into your products and services that you offer for your customers. So let's just go ahead and get right in. Um, we're just going to do a walkthrough. This is my Vendasta account, okay? Um, it costs, so let me give you, I guess, some pretty cool information. It costs $250 a month for their partner program, okay? And what that gets you access to is 2,500 accounts uh, or user accounts for you to put businesses on. Now, that could be your business. It can be 2,500 other clients that you have if you have that many. But I'm telling, that, I'm telling you this to say that it, it is a great deal. If you go to Yext, I believe it is like 400 bucks or 500 bucks a month, and you only get like eight accounts. So you have to be very sparing with Ye uh, with Yex. Uh, Vendasta is my favorite because of the fact that it allows you to be able to grow exponentially. Um, so basically, what Vendasta is going to do, it's going to help boost SEO uh, for a business by increasing their visibility via search results, um, listings, uh, maps, they'll show up on maps better because it takes all of their information, their business name, their phone number, their address, product services, social media pages, everything about their business online, and it disperses their information to all of the major listing sites, uh, review sites, uh, map sites, anything that holds a business's information and shows it to people out in the market. So Yelp is an, a, an example of a review site or a listing site. Google, Yahoo, Bing, those are all listing sites. Uh, Google Maps is separate from Google, and that's a whole other thing where you can list your business. So this software actually makes sure that your business shows up on all of those, because there's 150 to 300 um, that these companies will kind of target and go after uh, to distribute your listing to. So it's, it's super important that you're your listing is correct because when people see multiple addresses or multiple phone numbers it can make it very confusing and then Google will actually uh, lower your rank in uh, natural or organic search results because of that. So Vendesta, like I said, it's really great. Um, what I recommend doing since it's $250 for the basic package uh, for the basic um, partnership program with them Get the $250 a month package and then sell one customer $500 a month. That is a that is completely normal uh, in this industry. $500 a month for SEO. Um, so that covers your $250 costs plus you make $250 that you get to put back into your pocket. Now the next side of this is they have other services that you get to upsell to them. So for example, the reputation management dashboard. We'll go into that in a second. And then there's listing distribution and listing sync pro. Um, those are going to be really two really cool tools that you can upsell them and make even more money on. So the $250, I would recommend just giving that to them and that be their dashboard. That's what or their $500. That's getting them the dashboard to see all of the information about their business, build a listing, um, and see where the information is incorrect. But you're going to need to upcharge them one time uh, for a listing distribution or for reputation management. Reputation management is actually a monthly fee. I think uh, Vendasta charges 15 a month. Month. So you can upsell that 20, 30, 50 a month, 100 a month if you wanted to. Um, and, you know, it's really up to you. When you're starting out, it's better to go cheaper so that way you can just take on more clients. And then when you get more business, you can up the price then. So let's go ahead and look into Vendasta. It's kind of hard for you to understand if you've never looked at something like this before. Um, so we'll just go ahead and dive right into this, this software really quick and I'll show you how it kind of works. So this is the dashboard right here, um, my dashboard as the business. See, the best part is it's white label. So this is what my customers see. Actually, this is a, this is called impersonating. You can actually, imper oh no wait, that's the, here it is. Um, this is impersonating one of my customers. You can see Luann. Um, but this is what she sees when she comes to this site. So she thinks that I am the one who's put this together and that's another cool feature. Uh, you don't have to let other businesses know that you're upcharging them the services um, from from this site. You can just tell them that's what it costs and they don't have to know the back end. You don't ever tell them that you're working with Vendasta. You just tell them it's your software. So this is the partner center right here. This is where you will work in mostly. Um, you can add salespeople. So if you have people on your team who are selling, you can track their sales. Uh, it's a very cool little tool. Uh, this actually has a CRM in it, a customer relationship management software in it. Uh, so you can see right here, prospects, salespeople. I can add a prospect, and this is one of the coolest features. 
um, because when you first start out, they give you a bunch of these for free. But you know the digital marketing audit that you're putting together? Well, this will actually kind of do it for you, a lot of the work for you, so you can save a bunch of time, and it only costs $2 um, to create one of those for a business. So you get to save a ton of time doing that. But basically, once you put a business in, they, be they become a prospect or a lead um, for your business. All right, And then you convert them into a customer later. But basically, when you create them as a prospect, you can get one of these, what they're called, it's a snapshot. And the snapshot is that digital marketing audit. So you can see right here, this is the one for the music garden that I sent to my customer. And it showed them everything that is wrong with their business. Look at this. It's great. I mean, it gives them everything. It shows them what, what they're doing wrong. It shows them their uh, share of voice versus their competitors in the market. You can see they're doing really good at... Um, let me see, children's music lessons in Peachtree City, Georgia, they cover that a lot. But where it's music lessons in Peachtree City, Georgia, they don't really show up as much. Or piano lessons in Peachtree City, Georgia, they still don't. And that's a big thing for them is piano. So you're going to want to look at this because of the fact that it is so easy to put together. It shows them why they could use you, why you're going to be able to help. But this is just one little part. Um, let me see if it shows social media. Yeah, it even so it shows if they're showing up on social media sites. Let me, I don't see... Yeah, right here. Mentions. It doesn't have any mentions. This would be for Instagram or something like that. You show Facebook likes, Twitter followers. You can show that it's been stagnant, not a lot of growth. Uh, but it's a really cool tool for you to just put together. It, it literally takes you no time. And you get to put it together and send that out to them for free. And then they're like, wow, I had a customer actually come back to me and buy the upsell product because I sent her this. Um, I had already set up her account. She didn't want to do the $300 one-time fee um, that I charge for one of the services. And so she, well, I sent her this audit and she was like, oh crap, I think we need to do that fee because she saw all of these listings missing. So that's what this tool is able to do. Um, so when I say listing, just to give you an, uh, an example, review sites, City Search, Glassdoor, Indeed, Kudzu, Yelp, directory sites, these are completely different, but 411, Best Local Search, Better Business Bureau, Brown Book, I know you guys have heard of the BBB, um, City Squares, Dex Knows, those are some that you've probably heard of. And then you can see up here, you have the search engines. Those are the big ones. It's going to distribute your listing there. And then you have the social sites, but it also does GPS too. It doesn't show it right here. We'll get to that in a second. I'll show you that part. But you can just see this is a bunch of really great, useful information that you can give to a customer, and you can make a ton of money off of this type of service. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting over being sick. Um, so once we get in, we'll actually impersonate the user, and that's what this is. We'll start off with reputation management just to kind of give you an idea of what that does. I charge uh, for this customer 20 bucks a month right now just because I'm not trying to make a ton of money off of this service. I already make a good bit just on the monthly fee that I charge. Uh, so I'm really just trying to get some people on this, uh, on this platform and get them using it because it really is beneficial for increasing their SEO ranking. So what we have right here is basically the reputation management. And reputation management is going to show them who's talking about them, who's leaving reviews, who, what their competition's doing. All of this information where people are talking about you online, uh, you'll be able to see it all in one place. And this is why customers find this really valuable because they don't want review. They know that reviews are out there everywhere, but they don't know how to track them all in one place. And they don't know how to make sure that they're able to engage with all of their customers, whether they be good reviews or bad reviews, stuff like that. So this gives this to them all in one place. You just click right here, click on reviews. Um, and this is what they will do. I actually, I let them handle this part of the service. I don't go in and respond to reviews unless they ask me to, which if they do, I charge them for. So they go in, they see the reviews right here. <coughs> you can see their average rating, <coughs> excuse me, is a 4.9, a total of 37 reviews. And you can see how their breakdown of the star count right there their most common words, wording used in reviews, and then what other sites are being used for reviews. So you have Facebook, you have Google, and these are really all they've collected. It doesn't look like they've collected many more other than Facebook and Google. So right here, that's a big thing that you can teach them, and we'll get into that in a minute, but you can actually get use a tool on here to get reviews on other sites, so you're spreading out and getting more diverse. So. This is a really cool tool though. They can go in right here, they can just click respond and write in a response and it'll post it to their Facebook page. Makes it super easy. All right, so the next cool part is right here, generate reviews. This is that part I was talking about where if you're trying to get reviews for other websites, you just upload an, a bulk email list and then click request bulk review or bulk email reviews. The cool thing is part of this feature actually allows you, they have a page set up ahead of time that 
in the email it actually says would you recommend this business and if they click no it actually sends them to a review page that's hosted by Vendasta so it won't be taken out to the public it won't be posted to Google unless they choose to do that or go another way um, but if you send them that email and they go through that email to do the review the if they try to leave a negative review it actually won't show up online which is really really great for your businesses uh, but you can set it up to do other things so if you want to reviews on Yelp if you want to reviews on any other sites um, you can set those as the preset site to leave a review on and that's what, how it'll leave it from the email address or from the email that you send really really cool review right there or a review tool right there you have mentions mentions is going to be anything on Instagram so this business doesn't have a ton of engagement on Instagram um, I think it was just showing Twitter. Yeah, Twitter and Facebook. I don't know why it's not pulling these up right here. I'll actually have to call Vendasta about that because it'll pull all the information in once you have their accounts linked and I know I have their Facebook and all that stuff linked so you'll see that in a sec. But basically when, when they're getting mentions and stuff like that online, it'll actually start to show up here. Uh, so that's a really cool place for you to see what's being said about your business or their business. Right here under social, you can see these are all the Facebook posts. Um, that they've been working on recently or that they've been doing or I've been doing, you know, whoever posted it. Um, you can get statistics <clears throat> on social activity, so it should show their page growth, how many likes they've had. Um, I don't think it shows engagement, right? So it shows page growth, whether they've gained likes or lost likes, so you can see they actually lost a like here. Um, and so that would give them some input or insight into what's happening. And then the coolest part, in my opinion, which is competition, you can look at the share of voice. And so share a voice when you set the account up you actually set up three sets of like keywords or key phrases and that's what this is basing it off of so you can see who their big competitors are which you enter in all their competitors and it'll pull all of that information even from their competitors and show you what what they look like against them and then you have more information down here Facebook Twitter um, that shows you about social media and stuff like that you can pull reports um, but we won't pull a report today. But this is just how this is how easy it is to implement. It's very easy. Vendasta has a whole onboarding process where they teach you how to use this whole dashboard and interface that makes it very easy. Trust me, they are very they're, they're almost annoying about it because uh, my rep reaches out to me about two to three times a week. I've actually had to tell them that I don't need them to reach out to me that much. Uh, so, they are very, very hands-on. They're very good, though. That's, so that's a good thing. It can be annoying, but I'd rather have annoying than not be able to reach them at all, right? So this is reputation management. Super easy to use. I definitely recommend that you sell this service if you're using Vendasta for your customers. The next one is going to be Listing Builder. And this is, with, this is a two-part two product or a two-part feature that they offer. And this is how you're actually going to get those listings distributed. So I did one this morning for this business because uh, I wanted to be able to show you guys kind of what it'll look like, but they had nothing. You saw that first, this report, right, where they had all of these listings just, you know, looking terrible, either not having information or it's incorrect, um, something like that. So we go to Listing Builder and you can see now we have 46 of 49 sites syncing. Um, those are the biggest sites and that's what Listing Sync Pro does. The biggest sites, um, you know, it's going to take a while to get to those, but Listing Sync Pro actually does it automatically. So we'll see, let me see right here if we can find it again. I think it's this one. And we'll go in and we'll see, but, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, so you can see right here, all of these are in syncing, syncing, in progress, and all of these are big sites. So I don't have to go in and do this now. It's already done. I don't have, I'm getting them a huge boost in SEO, and I don't have to do anything. All I did was click go, and it, it started doing it all by itself. See, look, listing accepted for a GPS, Audi GPS, BMW GPS. It's everywhere. It puts you everywhere. So this is why it's going to be so beneficial for SEO and for your businesses. All right? Looking at Google Insights, it even gives you information about your insights on Google. How many searches are being done? Um, how customers search for your business, right here. Direct and discovery, how they're, how they're finding you. Customer views, customer actions, phone calls that you've gotten, request directions. Like That's the best part about this service. It shows you so much information and you give this to your customer and just let them go at it. And they have a great time looking at this information because it gives them so much to look at. Listing distribution, uh, so there's two parts. Like I said, there's Listing Pro, which does the big 49 instantaneously, and then there's Listing Distribution, which that's going to do all of the providers and all of the big four data providers 
um, all of the listing sites, review sites over time. It'll do the same thing as Listing Sync Pro, but it does it at a lot slower rate. This is for a whole year. Both of these services actually last for a year, so that's why they're one-time charges. And remember, the reputation management is a uh, monthly charge that you would charge them. But that's it. It's showing listing accuracy, and then we're showing how we're showing up for the big four data providers, and you can see these are doing well now. When I first looked at it, half of these were missing or errors or stuff like that, or data rejected because there was nothing there. So this is a really cool tool to use. Um, I love it. Vendasta is, is by far one of the best tools. Again, I, I can't say it enough. One of the best tools you can use for SEO. Uh, it's going to make you some easy money that you don't have to put a lot of work into. It charges them every month, or you charge them every month for this service. And really, they're paying for the dashboard, they're paying for the ability to see their reviews, and they're paying for their listing or their business information to be pushed out to all of the big data providers, uh, listing, review site, GPS managers out there so that way they show up higher on search results. And that's it. That's just one part though. Remember that this is only one part to SEO. It's not a it's not the only thing. You have to do the backlinks, the content marketing, all of that. But this is going to be a good 30% um, that'll help you build instantaneously when you get it going. So that's it for this episode. I just wanted to show you guys again how to use this tool, why it's beneficial, why I use it for my marketing agency, and why you should use it. I don't make any money when you guys sign up for this. I just truly believe in this product. So take everything I said here seriously. Go look into it. Do some research. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to leave them down below so that way I can get back to you. Uh, also, I'm looking for people who want to write reviews for the course. If you're finding the course information valuable, um, you know, write a review for me, send it to me. Just reach out to me via my Facebook page or something like that, and we'll set something up, or my Snapchat. You guys have my information by now, so find me some way if you want to write a review or leave a review for me. I would very, very, very greatly appreciate it from you guys. I love you guys. Um, you guys are are seriously awesome it makes everything on here so much more fun and worth doing um, again last little bit I'm sorry I took so long to you know get back on this stuff camera broke I had the flu for a week I'm still getting over it. you heard a little bit of my coughing so I'm getting back at it now you guys are gonna be happy I promise so here comes all this video content but for now I'm gonna get out of here and shoot some more video for you guys so serial entrepreneur out